Alright people, welcome back to another edition of Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, speaking of beyond, uh, some of your uh, comments have been a little bit uh, beyond me at least when it comes to some of the uh, perceptions, first impressions of Windows 10. This is the first public release. This is the Windows technical preview as it is called. Now keep in mind it is a, a beta or maybe more accurately an alpha since it is the first release to the public I suppose similar to what a first release of a Linux distribution would be I'm assuming. Anyway keep in mind that it is a technical preview. It is not a final product and as such it is going to have some bugs, glitches and stuff like that. Now yesterday um, yeah, yesterday I downloaded uh, updates, downloaded a screencaster, screen recorder, rebooted, and I was expecting to find a bunch of, well, you know, the usual bugs, glitches, blue screens, stuff to make fun of this. So what happened? Well, let's find out together. Now, I am not going to edit this video. I'm, we are going, doing this in the raw, as it were. No editing. What you see is what you get. So if something breaks or if something happens that we can make fun of this, let's do it together. Now, one of the comments, um, of course, one of the features, the nice features of Windows uh, 10 is the new hybrid start menu. As you see here, I think that's a plus. Now, a lot of you, well, some of you at least, did not like the tiles. They were ugly they were too big they're awful it was it was giving you constipation it made you throw up well that's a problem <sighs> all right moving along <laughs> people you don't like the tiles just unpin them my goodness okay Let's move along here and see what we have. Okay, now I've taken a look at this before. Now what I'm looking for here is something out of the ordinary from the standpoint of a consumer. Not a geekster, not a technologist, you know, not, you know what I mean. From the point of a mom and pop who would go out and buy this maybe next year when it comes out, I believe towards the end of 2015. Now I've looked at this before. Now one of the nice features of this is the ability to go back to the look of Windows 8.1. You go to uh, Properties, Start Menu Properties, Start Menu, and if you uncheck, uncheck, hey, look at that chick. No, if you uncheck, hmm, I guess it's still early in the morning for me. Where's my coffee? Use the Start Menu instead of the Start Screen. If you uncheck that and reboot, you can go back to the look of Windows 8.1 if you so choose to. Now, I personally have Windows 8.1, and after doing all the updates and all that fun stuff, it's running terrific. It's running running faster than Windows 7. And, of course, if you like gaming, yep, you're definitely probably going to like Windows 10. So, so far, so good. All right, so one of the features of this, again, was the ability to go back and forth between Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. We have desktop environments. Now, we've seen this before. Nothing new. Uh, somebody, uh, there have been comments about um, copying stuff from other uh, operating systems. And my philosophy is, as far as that goes, um, if something works and you're happy and there's... Uh, no bugs. My thing is, so what if it's been copied? Uh, the bottom line is if it works, I think it's terrific that something has been imitated. What's that saying? Uh, fl uh, flattery? Imitation? Is a sincerest form of flattery or something like that? I can't remember. Anyway, you guys know what I mean. So as far as that uh, debate about that, to me it's not that big of a deal as long as it works. If it doesn't work, then it is a big of a deal because then you have a bigger headache. All right, so we have the usual taskbar here at the bottom. Shortcuts, you've seen this before. I will not go through all this. By the way, one of the uh, requirements to download this is Microsoft would like some feedback, both putting good and bad, justifiably so. One of the comments or one of the questions was, do I like the pop-up notifications? I believe they come up here 
one of the questions was uh, do you like the new start menu and I said yes yeah. so as far as notifications that's not a problem I think it's working just fine all right let's look at the home folder again if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8 you've seen this before this seems to be running fine I haven't really noticed any problems here or any crashes now they do recommend Microsoft recommends that you uh, test this in a test a separate test machine I'm running this in a virtualization environment and it seems to be working pretty good so far I really cannot make fun of this at least not yet search function here this seems to work uh, pretty good you can you know type in anything that you want and go from there now keep in mind this is in a virtual lock so this will run a little bit slow but I've, I've tested this uh, several times before and there you go actually not running too bad I thought it would run slower than this but so far it's running pretty good so let's go ahead and get to my other desktop here if it'll let me go to it alright so maybe a little bit of a bug there yeah signing in okay there we go well maybe not a bug but there's a little glitch there that I noticed but not anything that makes me say man this really sucks can't really say that at least not yet we've talked about the start menu and this is one of the big things in Windows 10 a lot of people if you recall my first look at Windows 8 I thought they had a winner if if they were to put some form of a hybrid start menu back in Windows 8 or 8.1 Microsoft chose not to do that they didn't listen to me see what happens when people don't listen to me they don't well anyway it's back it works fine it's terrific you don't like the tiles fine if you like the tiles right click pin to start and by the way these can be resized so you know if they're too big too small whatever there you go it's not that big of a deal it really isn't so as far as the look and feel of the tiles you don't like them you don't in my opinion that's not an argument because you don't have to have them and if you really don't like the start menu and you prefer Windows 8 point or the look of Windows 8.1 you can just choose that option now, I won't do it here in the next test I will test the 8.1 desktop environment of this and see how well that works but so far you know guy this is running pretty good now I know there probably are some glitches and bugs in there and I'm testing this on a desktop and not and not a touchscreen environment so please bear that in mind there may be bugs in the touchscreen part that is to be expected but on a desktop on a desktop from a consumer standpoint I haven't noticed anything yet to really make me wanna you know have constipation as it were but so far this is running pretty good of course you can right click here and there's some other shortcuts here you have seen this before I won't go into all of this I was looking more I want to focus more on the stability of this uh, so far and focus on the start menu since, since there's been controversy about this and the look and feel of the tiles you don't like the tiles just get rid of them all right guys I think I'll leave it here uh, if you have any comments or if, if there's anything I missed from a desktop environment please post them below uh, in the comments I do read all of your comments thank you all right that's it uh, let me know if I missed anything thank you for so thank you so much for watching and listening if you haven't already please subscribe and support the channel it would be greatly appreciated I will have a link to this if you would like to test this yourself if you do make sure you read the system requirements very very important all right guys that's it and I will catch all of you as usual sometime in the future